In today's video, we're going to be working on a two-step inequality. For number one, we have 2x plus 6 is greater than or equal to 20. So let's start by doing a negative 6 because we got to do the opposite of positive 6. Whatever we do on one side, we have to also do it on the other side so we can go ahead and balance out. So this is going to cancel. It's going to leave us with 2x is greater than or equal to and you have two different signs. You have a positive and a negative. So you're going to go ahead and subtract. It's going to give us 14. Then we're going to go ahead and divide by 2. Divide by 2. Now we have x is greater than or equal to 2 divided by 14. It's going to be 7. Okay? So your answer is this. x is greater than or equal to 7. So you can go ahead now and graph it. If your teacher asks you to graph it, go 0. 2, 4, 6, 8, negative 2, negative 4, and so on. So we're going to go ahead and start and look at our number. Our number is going to be 7. So we're going to go ahead. Is it going to be open circle or closed circle? Okay. Remember, for if it's greater than or equal to or less than or equal to, it's always going to be a closed circle. So you're going to go ahead and put a that's seven. Now, are you going to shade to the left or are you going to shade to your right? And hopefully you're thinking of shading it to your right because you're saying that eight, seven, eight, nine, and so on is greater than or greater than or equal to seven. Okay. For number two, we have negative x minus five is greater than two. So to get rid of negative five, it's going to do positive 5, the opposite, always the opposite. And whatever we do on one side, we also got to do it on the other side. So this is going to cancel. Now we have negative x is greater than, we have two of the same signs, which is going to give us 7. Now we're going to divide, because we cannot have our variable to be a negative. We're going to divide by negative 1, divide by negative 1. Now we have x by itself. But remember the rule on the right hand side, when you multiply or divide by a negative number on both sides, you have to flip the inequality sign to the opposite side. So it was on greater than, and since we're gonna flip it, it's gonna be less than. And then when you divide negative one and a positive, negative times a positive, it's gonna give us a negative seven. Okay, now you can go ahead and graph it if your teacher tells you that you have to graph it. You start with 0, negative 2, negative 4, negative 6, negative 8. So negative 7 is around here. And then are you going to shade to your left or are you going to shade to your right? And is it going to be open circle or is it going to be closed circle? Okay. And in this case, we saw with 7 here, it is not going to be a closed circle. It's going to be an open circle. So open circle for number 4, negative 7. Now, are we going to shade to your left or are we going to shade to your right? Okay. So hopefully, you're shading to your left. Okay. And don't forget, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit the like and subscribe. For example three and example four, go ahead and try to challenge yourself and solve these problems. Press pause on the video and then go, go ahead and press play and see if you got the same answer. If not, where did you do your mistakes, okay? So for number three, we have negative five parentheses x plus three parentheses is less than or equal to negative third okay so we're gonna, gonna go ahead first and multiply that in there so it's gonna give us negative 5x negative times a positive it's gonna give us negative 15 and negative third okay so after we go ahead and do that we're gonna do the opposite of negative 15 which is gonna be positive 15 whatever we do on one side remember we're gonna do it on the other side positive 15 so now we have 5x this is going to go ahead and cancel. And now we have two different signs. We have negative 30 and we have 
positive 15. So when you have two different signs, you're gonna go ahead and subtract. Remember the trick I tell you guys all the time as well, is just go ahead and put your fingers on top of your sign and look at what number's bigger. What number's bigger is 30. So you're gonna see what's the sign in front of 30 is gonna be negative. So when you go ahead and bring here, it should be a negative, okay? When you subtract 30 from 15, it's gonna give you 15, okay? Now you're gonna go ahead and divide by negative five, because remember our variable has to always be a positive. Then you divide by negative five, it's gonna go ahead and cancel, then x. But remember, when you multiply or divide by a negative number on both sides, you have to flip the inequality sign to the opposite. So you are here, you have it as less than or equal to, and you're gonna flip it to greater than or equal to. So you're gonna go ahead and flip your sign and then we have negative divided by a negative. It's going to give you a positive 3. And go ahead. If you need to go ahead and graph it as well, go ahead and graph it. For number 4, I'm not going to graph it. That's going to be your little challenge for you to go ahead and do it on your own. And hopefully you already know how to graph by that time. Now go ahead and practice on that on the other videos and the link below. So is it going to be open circle or is it going to be closed circle? And hopefully you're thinking, all right, it is a greater than or equal to. So it's going to go ahead and be closed circle. We look for number three. Go ahead, it's about here. And are we going to shade to the left or are we going to shade to the right? And hopefully you're thinking you're shaving to your right. Okay. So for number Four, we have x divided by two minus two is less than or equal to negative four. So we're gonna do the opposite of negative two is positive two. This is gonna cancel and leave us with x two. And then two we have, again, we have two of the different signs. So we're gonna subtract. I'm sorry, it's gonna go and subtract and it's gonna give you negative two. So then you're gonna go ahead and multiply by two, multiply by two. It's gonna give you x is less than or equal to negative two times two is gonna be negative four, okay? And once again, don't forget if this is still a little bit hard for you, go ahead and review the video as many times as you have to. And if you think your friend needs help on something like two-step inequalities, go ahead and share the video. And once again, thank you for watching.